Hi, I'm Alex, and today I want to do a demonstration of the flight simulator alternative. Now, what you can see from the window over there is that we're coming into land somewhere. Um, it's actually the old airport in Hong Kong called Kai Tak that closed back in the 90s. Now, I'm obviously not landing there because it closed back in the 90s, so where am I? I'm actually um, in the conservatory here um, in my house. Now that's the main feature that I wanted to show you, but there's a couple more things that I want to show you as well. Let's have a look up here. Um, this is the uh, customer service board, fully operational. So I'll take you through that in a bit. There's another thing I want to show you, which is just over to the right of me here, which is the flight selector panel. Uh, this lets you select uh, where you want to land. So let's go those through those in more detail now. Okay, so let's start with the uh, control panel here. Now, this is powered by a uh, Raspberry Pi, uh, which powers this and the uh, main screen on the other side. So let's uh, turn it on. First thing you see there is a list of uh, destinations. So we were on Hong Kong in the initial video. We can land in Las Vegas, Manhattan. Let's select uh, Innsbruck here. So that's changed. First thing that happens is the fluorescent light up there turns on to give a realistic view uh, or realistic kind of experience. And what you can see there is a video of landing in Innsbruck, which is quite a sensational one. You go around the mountains. You may also be able to hear in the background um, that I've actually got audio. I disabled that for the initial video or the initial bit of the video, but uh, you get audio coming from two speakers located up there up there it sounds uh, pretty realistic now let's have a look at the control panel here now this is powered independently by an ESP32 um, so it's independent from the uh, video selection and video itself let's start pushing some buttons so what we got lights on here touch touch switches so on 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 we can turn them off 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 at the end here we have an assistance button if I push this, assistance required. you can hear that uh, fairly recognisable bing bong and a bit of a buzz at the end. Um, that's because of I2S. And what you may be able to hear is a voice as well. So when I push this button up here, up here, all the Google speakers in the house will say, assistance required. So that's a good way of uh, calling attention there. Let's move on to what this flappy thing is here, if you're wondering what it is. Um, there's a fan button here that has three settings, so I can have it on quite silent. You may not be able to hear that. There you can see it flattering, flopping around. I'm on the second one now. Okay, getting more violent and then hurricane force, quite loud, but also quite nice in the summer uh, when it's a hot day. And press it one more time and everything turns off. Finally, we have the Ryanair button. So let's just press this and see what happens. Yep, it's the uh, Ryanair jingle that's played when planes land on time with Ryanair. I thought I'd put that in as a bit of a joke. Um, it's quite funny if people are sitting down and I press the button and yeah. Uh, jingle will stop in a minute. There we go. Yeah, yeah. So that's, that's a long and short of the uh, control panel here. Um, I'm just gonna finally go up and over and show you all the worrying and what's going on behind the scenes. So what we have here is a Raspberry Pi Zero. Um, that's wired up to a relay there for the fluorescent light, which does that lighting you saw earlier. You can also see some wires going through here to the uh, control panel at the front. So that's all controlled through I2C and some uh, just basic other logic for the buttons, on off logic. If we go along here, next thing you can see is USB sound card, which I've taken apart, um, and speakers, one over there, and one over there to do the sound. 
And finally down there you can just about see the monitor. I don't think you're gonna I'm gonna get a good shot of it, but just a standard uh PC monitor down there which shows the video. Right, let's move along to the control panel. So first thing you may notice in the middle there is the fan. That's a PC cooling fan that pushes the air in through the nozzles. Speaker at the front and this is where it gets a bit wary. Um, that's on the SP32 there. You can probably just about see it. I'm using a lot of a uh, port, uh, using a lot of connections on that. Um, down here, full relays for the three lights plus the assistant light. And finally, around the back here is a fan controller. So this controls the fan speed through PWM. And also actually gives me 5 volt um, line out. So I can have 5 volts and 12 volts lining up there. And there it is in all of its glory and uh, insulating tape. <laughs> Righto. So um, I haven't posted code up yet for this. But I do plan to do so. There is a write up on alexshakespeare.com. Um, so if you're interested you can uh, go there and have a look. Thank you for your time.